Here we go, let's spin the wheel. The first subject is adventure. Who wants to come in that? James. Uh, I'm not a very adventurous person. Um, <laughs> I, I've only ever used one side of a cheese grater. I've <laughs> got no idea what the other three sides even do. <laughs> I'm not the only one either, because everyone knows what side I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Big holes. <laughs> Got no time for small holes and tiny holes. And don't know if you've ever seen small... It's the roughest side of anything I've ever seen in my life, small holes. There's rows of tiny little spikes, so I'm going to use that side as in self-defence. <laughs> then you've got to wash it. <laughs> I don't know how you negotiate that. How you wash something that is rougher than your own scouring pad. <laughs> Interestingly, the only thing rough enough to wash a cheese grater is a second cheese grater. <laughs> I refuse to believe that anyone has ever used the side with the three curvy slits in it. <laughs> Don't need them. <laughs> Get rid of them, replace them with something I'd actually use in my day-to-day -day cheese needs. <laughs> like, for me, it'd be a device that in one smooth downward motion completely unwraps a baby bell. <laughs> Someone told me the other day the three curvy slits they use for slicing cheese. Apparently. It's the, it's the word on the street. <laughs> now, if I'm going to slice cheese, my first port of call is seldom the greater. <laughs> call me old-fashioned, I'm a knife man. <laughs> it might be my fuddy-duddy, but I like it. It's unpredictable. <laughs> you always start out. You're thinking, well, this cheese cutting's going excellently. <laughs> oh, yeah. It just passed the halfway mark and the cheese takes over. <laughs> you can't reverse it. It's made its mind up now. And, yeah, now you've got a slice of cheese that's half the size you wanted in the first place. <laughs> but at least you've got some stories. <laughs> Thank you, James, for comprehensively dealing with the topic of adventure there. <laughs> well, thank you. OK, so James is left. Let's see what he's been left with. Let's spin the wheel. And the topic is Britain. I wish I was Mexican. Love everything about, I love Mexican food. My favourite place to eat is a uh, Mexican restaurant called Oaxaca. Uh, all, all you need to know about Oaxaca, everyone steals their spoons. Uh, so much so that every January, Oaxaca have a spoon amnesty on. <laughs> you bring back one of the stolen spoons, and then they reward you with free tacos. Genius. <laughs> Not only do they get their spoons back, they also get to watch while the thieves eat tacos, which I imagine have been interfered with beyond belief. <laughs> Love Mexican food, love Mexican music. Mariachi music, best music in the world. Top three mariachi songs. Number one. Number two. Number three, nothing because there are no other mariachi songs. Ever been to a mariachi nightclub? It's full of people just going up to the DJ like, hey man, have you got da 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 I couldn't walk down the corridor without some knob knocking my sombrero off my head. <laughs> Step on the back of my poncho on the way in a maths class. <laughs> Once, a kid wrote chimichanga bum boy across my forehead <laughs> while I was having my post-lunch siesta. <laughs> he also drew a moustache on my face, but to be fair, that played into my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, very good.
It's close, but for sticking to the topic, James A. Castle gets the points. Well done to both of you. Come on back. OK, here we go. The first subject is... Parties. Who wants to go in that? James. I went to a surprise party recently for my friend Daryl. We were all in his living room, all of us, uh, in the dark, hiding. <laughs> his girlfriend turned to us all, she went, right, he's going to be here in a minute. When he gets in, everyone jump out, yell surprise, and that will be really surprising. <laughs> I argue it'd be a lot more surprising if, if instead of making all that commotion, we all just stood there in his living room in the dark, just... <laughs> <laughs> when he comes in and turns the lights on, see how surprised he is then? <laughs> it's a good party. I schmoozed. I'm good at schmoozing. Buttering people up. I'll give you some schmoozing tips, why not? A lot of people will tell you when you're schmoozing, have a good icebreaker, right? Break the ice. What they won't tell you, at the end of the conversation, unbreak the ice. <laughs> you don't want anyone else swooping in, taking advantage of all the lovely little ice cubes that you created. So freeze it over again before you leave. <laughs> so as you're leaving, just slide something under the fence, like death comes to us all, something like that. 